Hi, this is Brianna Beltron, SB Gymnastics. Brianna and team's been on the road a lot this year with just one home meet. Last week you were in San Jose and finished third in a quad meet. Uh, your thoughts on that meet? Yeah, um, we had a really good start on bars, which is very exciting. Um, bars has been a little rough the past couple meets, so we really wanted to go into this meet. Um, um, starting off strong at whatever event we were doing, but especially bars, and we did that, which was really exciting. Um, however, we kind of, you know, a little bit, it went a little bit downhill from there. Um, I thought our team unity was really good, kept the energy up, which was awesome since there was four teams there. Um, but I think it'd be great if we like kept the energy up the whole time. And I think that's something we need to work on. Great. Had some fantastic individual performances. The team score wasn't quite as high as I'm mm -hmm. sure you'd like, but uh, Maria Hundley tied for right. first in a couple yeah, events. Awesome. Just talk about her. Please. No, yeah, um, Maria has had a really solid um, bar routine, which is awesome. Um, I was able to follow her after bars, and it was much easier like seeing her hit that really good bar set. So that was very awesome. Um, and vault was good for her too. Um, so, yeah. It's really, she did a really good job this weekend. Well, you mentioned the team started off on bars and did real well. You played a big part in that, a 9.625, which was your season high. Uh, what did you think about your bars set? Uh, yeah, it was definitely, um, I thought it was definitely my best bar set this season so far. Um, definitely have more stuff to work on, um, really making sure I transfer what I do in practice to the meet, and um, hopefully next, or next meet I could do that. There are a little different rules this year uh, implemented by the NCAA in bar scoring. Can you explain to us what they did this year? Yeah, they um, have a little bit different requirements on bars this year, uh, meaning you need to have, or like one of those requirements is that you need to have uh, a major release, um, single bar major release. Um, and so not a lot of, not every single bar routine on our bar lineup has that right now and so our team is kind of lacking in start value which is something we will need to or, and want to really increase um, getting those major bar releases. Right. And by single bar release you mean releasing from one bar and then uh, coming back to that same bar? Yes, right? uh, my release, I do a ginger it's called um, I let go, or I'm on the high bar, let go, um, twist, half turn and catch the same high bar again. Now, are those single bar releases uh, the, the toughest uh, toughest thing to do on the bars? Um, typically, yeah. Um, that's pretty much the biggest part of your bar routine, um, a lot of people would say, yeah. How long did it take you to implement a ginger and to feel comfortable <laughs> doing it? Um, I actually started training gingers my freshman year in high school, and they're still not perfect, yeah. so, um, but this season I've... Uh, been better or can more consistent with that skill, so it's been really good. You also compete in the vault. Uh, which event do you prefer between bars and vault? Um, I actually, I, I think I enjoy doing bars more. I think that'd be my favorite event, um, but I think I like competing in vault. Okay. Yeah. Uh, on Friday at San Jose, or 9.575, what did you think about your vault? Uh, yeah, um, well, this whole season I was, I had been had been competing a tuck full, your Tinko tuck full, and San Jose was actually the f my first meet upgrading my vault. Um, so I did your Tinko layout. Um, and it wasn't the cleanest, I would say, but it was my first time competing in that vault and it was really exciting. I, yeah. And what's the big difference uh, in doing that layout? Um, well, a tuck full um, is a 9 9 start value, whereas the layout is a 9 9 5 start value. Um, so I guess the increase in start value is a difference, but um, I guess doing a tuck full, I would just be tucking my legs, whereas doing a layout full, I keep my legs straight. Fantastic. There we go. Well, um, let's step away from the gym for a moment, just talk about uh, you personally. Why don't you tell us where you're from? Um, I'm from Modesto, California, so Central California, which is about an hour and a half south of Sacramento. And uh, what brought you to Seattle Pacific? How did you decide to become a Falcon? Um, honestly, gymnastics. Um, that's how I heard about SPU and came here to visit, love the campus, love um, student life especially, and so, um, yeah. Great. Well, uh, tell us, what are you majoring in? Um, I'm a psychology major and hopefully a biz business minor, and I plan to uh, um, go into industrial organizational psychology.
Wow, can you explain a little bit of what that is? <laughs> yeah, so it's basically um, psychology in the workplace. So, um, trans or like working research, kind of um, how it matches up to real life um, experiences, data. Um, kind of, I kind of want to work in like human resources. Um, kind of like the team aspect of psychology, right. yeah. Do you uh, find yourself using some psychology in uh, dealing with your teammates at all? Oh, yes, yes, every day actually. <laughs> we were just talking about this today, um, all the time. And I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to be a become a psychology major. Great. Well, yeah. thank you very much for your time, appreciate it. And uh, neglected to mention, you have another meet to on the road here Friday. UC yes. Davis, uh, your thoughts on another road meet? Uh, yeah, actually it's at Sacramento. It's um, Sacramento State, yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. No, I'm excited. Uh, we're really working on um, making improvements. We only have three days in the gym this week, so we have to make sure we're making our corrections every single day, putting ourselves into a meet situation when we're doing or practicing, and um, I'm excited to go home, compete. That's right. Again. How close is Sacramento to Metasto? Um, an hour and a half. Very nice. Yeah. I expect you'll have a little like, contingent mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, and good luck on Friday. Thank you.